Forget Google, forget OpenAI. Bing has just blown all these companies out of the water with its AI language system, and the competition isn't even close to catching up. Hey everyone, it's Ben here, and I got some pretty interesting news to share with you today. You know Bing, the search engine that no one uses? The one with Google as its most searched term? Yeah, well, that very same company has just come out with a language model that literally blows all the competition out of the water. It's genuinely amazing, and in this video, we'll break down everything that you need to know about Bing's AI. So, without further ado, let's jump straight in and take a look. So, if you ever tried to learn a new language, I am sure you can appreciate just how difficult it is. I mean, you can use a language app and learn all the right phrases, but then once you go to the native country and try to speak the language, you have no idea what everyone else is saying or how to pronounce all the words and phrases correctly. The reason for this is that natural native conversations are so different from simply learning a few common phrases on Duolingo. Bing has taken the initiative and recognized this and has implemented something very interesting for its AI language model. If you wanted to practice your French in a conversational tone, you can simply ask Bing AI to just do this, and it'll start talking about a random topic or a topic of your choice in a conversational native way. What's more is that Bing AI actually has a voice, so you'll be able to hear how the words are pronounced in a realistic way, and you can even reply by talking into your device. You can literally have full-blown conversations with Bing AI in dozens of languages, which helps users gain so much confidence and experience in learning a new language. And other AI systems simply don't have this kind of capability. This is a much more practical way of learning a new language than traditional methods. Without Bing AI, to practice a new language, you'll have to find someone who speaks both your native language and the language you want to learn, and then convince them to spend hours helping you practice without any real incentive on your part. Plus, they're not always going to be available when you have time to learn. And if you're shy, you're probably not going to want to practice with a human right off the bat anyways. Ultimately, this shows that Bing AI is just a smarter way of learning a new language than traditional methods. You can use it whenever you want or need it. You don't need a real human to practice with you. And because it's just you and a screen, you won't feel nervous making for a perfect learning environment. Another neat feature included in Bing AI is its conversation corrector. When you turn this feature on, Bing AI will correct your mistakes as you talk. This way you learn what to do and what not to do when it comes to grammar, pronunciation, and sentence structure, and is an extremely powerful way of getting better at a chosen language. What's more is that because all your conversations are saved, you'll be able to go back and see what mistakes you make the most frequently to give you a better idea of your biggest weaknesses when conversating. This can be taken a step further too. You can have Bing correct your language under a certain style of conversation. So if you want to practice your formal speaking, you could ask Bing to give you a suggestion for speaking in a more formal way as you go about your conversation. And if you made it this far in the video, make sure to show your support by clicking the subscribe button. We have so much more AI content coming your way and you don't want to miss a second of it. Now, this is all great, but to be honest, being tied to a computer screen to learn a new language just simply isn't going to work for a lot of people. Most people have an incredibly busy lifestyle and can't commit to spending all evening at their desk. Well, luckily Bing has thought of this and addressed the problem with a mobile app that has all of the features I just talked about. You can find the app on the App Store by typing Bing. Then when you arrive on the home screen, you just have to press the central button to bring up the language assistant. As you talk, Bing will even give you conversational suggestions to help you keep the conversation on track and flowing well. The app also allows you to type instead of speak, which is perfect for when you're in a crowded scenario and don't want people to hear you try and pronounce the French word for rapid. This app is a bit of a game changer because it allows people to learn a new language when they would have otherwise just sat scrolling on TikTok or Twitter slash X or whatever you want to call it. There will also be opportunities to learn languages on public transport or when in a long queue and hey, even when you're on a toilet. I mean, there's no judging here. Another huge feature of being AI is the fact that it's connected to the internet. Now, if you watched some of my previous videos on BARD and ChatGPT, then you're probably aware of how important internet connectivity is for an AI system. And if you aren't, then definitely after watching this video, you should go check them out. Internet connectivity allows an AI tool to have access to the latest information and trends to ultimately give you more accurate responses and answers. And it is literally a game changer when it comes to this technology. So of course, to see Bing harnessing the power of the internet with its language model is simply huge. 
In a language learning setting, internet connectivity will allow you to converse about current news and trends, which will make your learning all the more relevant and effective. You can even use this feature to find a nearby restaurant that speaks the language you're learning, recommend a dish, and even give you phrases to use while you're there. And during general use, internet connectivity will allow you to receive the most relevant answers to your questions. You will even be able to talk about events that literally just happened, which is something that non-connected systems like ChatGPT simply cannot do. Now, another great feature of Bing AI is that it actually has three different conversation styles, creative, balance, and precise. Creative conversations generate longer, more hypothetical, and more, well, conversational conversations that are perfect for talking about general topics. This mode will also mimic real life conversations pretty well, as most people adopt a more casual rather than formal tone in a public space. Now, precise mode gives you more factual answers, and the responses tend to be much shorter and, well, you guessed it, precise. Generally, if you want to ask Bing a specific question, this is the mode that you'll want to use, as you'll get the most straightforward answer. Last but not least is balance mode, which is a bit more of a sweet spot, and when you use this setting, Bing will lean into both conversational and precise answers, of course, depending on your questions and replies. Now, don't get me wrong, BAI is an incredibly powerful tool, and if you use it to its fullest potential, your research will be more efficient and your ability to learn a new language will improve exponentially, along with a dozen other benefits. However, it is far from the perfect language model, and it does come with a few flaws. First of all, Bing AI does not support every language. Now, for a general AI system, this isn't that bad, but Bing AI is a language system. So not being able to speak every language or the overwhelming majority of them is a huge flaw. Now, this problem should get fixed as soon as it comes out of development, but still, I mean, let's be honest, it's pretty annoying. And especially if you wanna use the tool now, but you can't because your language just isn't supported. Another problem is that you can only converse with Bing AI in one language at a time. This means that Bing will only ever respond in one language, which can become frustrating if you don't understand what it's saying and just want some clarification in your own language. Ultimately, aside from its flaws, Bing AI looks absolutely amazing and will certainly change the way that we learn languages for good. You can use Bing AI at the time of making this video, and I urge you to give it a go because it is incredibly useful and also pretty fun. Of course, we want to throw it over to you guys. What do you think of Bing AI? Will this take over traditional language learning, or is it just another overhyped app? Be sure to let us know in the comments section below.